What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, we're still in Mexico. We're still throwing it down. We got my good friend Pacho. He's like my best friend now. We just traveled the island together. He's like a best friend that you can't talk to unless you do like sign language because he speaks only Spanish and I speak only English. His dad owns the Miramar restaurant here in Mag Bay, here at the little local village. And they're the nicest humans ever. The nicest humans I've ever met in my life. Look at that whale carcass up there. All these big whales wash up on the beach. I say all like a lot. I'm sure it's not a lot, but over the years, and they gather the bones up and they piece it together. But that's not what we're here for. Right now, we got our wetsuits on. If you've watched my octopus video, you saw me give Pacho my other wetsuit because this morning he took his octopus hunting with no wetsuit and this water's freezing. So I give him my other one. We're all suiting up and getting in the water. We're going after scallops and halibut. You ready? You ready? You got it, the lipstick? <laughs> <laughs> so there's an ongoing joke. The first night I met him, he had a buddy with him and they were all laughing and giggling. I said, hey, which one wear the lipstick? And they died laughing. And right then, I knew we'd be really close friends because that's what my brother and dad used to say to me when I'd have a buddy over. Oh, which one wears the lipstick? <laughs> Let's suit up. So I highly recommend y'all coming to check out Mag Bay Lodge. Joseph and Toby, top-notch. I'll have all the information for all these trips in the link below each video. So if you, you're wondering who we're with and what we're doing, check underneath the video. And you also see that I have promo codes for favorite rods, for Danko pliers, for frog togs, and that will help you guys save money. Now, let's get in the water. So Pacho told me how to get these scallops out of the water. So when they're in the ground like this, he said you take here, you stick in, you twist, and you pull out. Pacho, put your wetsuit on I just give you. Yeah? Yeah, see. <laughs> I didn't give it to you to hang it on the wall. Can we give him some coconut oil? Yeah, lube him up. So in my last video, I give him my new wetsuit. He's not even going to wear it. He's wearing it now. Woohoo! You need a tan, boy. <laughs> Kelly's about to lube him up. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yes? Mm. Rub all over. There's <laughs> <laughs> a new one uh, for me. <laughs> it's new for me. You guys, the craziest thing about me and Pacho is we've not had one bit of conversation together because we can't speak each other's language. And I swear to you, he's one of my... Like... <laughs> I literally feel like he's my brother, and that's so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> so awesome. Like a mama bear. Can I take off? There we go. <laughs> Perfect. This warm. Yeah. Warm. There you go, you're looking sharp. Muy bueno. Yeah. Let's get up. You're about to have the biggest wedgie you've ever had in your life though. <laughs> I gotta do it. <laughs> no tight. <laughs> um, no, they like just The lipstick now, yeah, I guess I'm wearing the lipstick. It's good. Bang! All right, before I get in the water, I just want to tell my two boys, Luke and Jake, I wish y'all were here. This would be a dream come true to have you two boys on this beach with me right here, gathering up octopuses and scallops and all kinds of shells, and I will bring you two back. I love both of you very much. Now let's go catch some scallops.
there good? Bueno? The suit? All you need to see to see how to catch a skeleton in Mexico. We're gonna be eating good tonight. Scallops with your hawkfish that you shot. Woo. Tonight we're going back right now making scallop ceviche. Babe, look what I found. That thing you wanted to cook. Oh yeah, that is pretty neat. That's what they use for lobster today. Yeah. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, oh, no. oh, my Explain God. to him what happened. So when he, sh when he shot the gun, he didn't support his wrist, and he shot it too close to his face, so it backfired and hit him in the face. Oh! Oh my God! That might have been my fault for not explaining. <laughs> live, <you> dumb, though. <laughs> live and learn. <laughs> you definitely live and learn. All right, you guys, we're going to show you how to clean these scallops right now. We're headed straight back to the lodge and we're going to make a scallop ceviche. Look. Oh, look, of course. Out of all people, you get the one with the little crawfish. Look at the claw. It's like wow. a Maine lobster. It's like an embryo, like a little. He was soft. inside this scallop. How cool is that? <gasps> Where'd it go? Oh, I thought that was wrong. Whoa. He's a baby. So, I'm experimenting. I haven't asked him yet how to clean it, but I pretty much think I've got a clue. We need <laughs> to save this for chum. Yes. Can I borrow the knife? Just like our scallops at home. My Dankos were back at the camp. I didn't realize we were going to come do this today. Literally just like the scallops at home. Except for we have these shells. And I don't know. Let me see something real quick. I don't know if it's the same one. We can try and we can get back. Insanely good. Obviously it tastes like salt water because that's what it just came out of and that's what I washed it in. These are going to be insanely good. 
in a ceviche. Different color. Different? Yeah. Oh, so he's saying that this is different than a scallop. Oh. Oh yeah, that shell is a lot more smooth. Let me see if I can get this bad boy open. Anytime you're dealing with stuff like this, it's a good way to cut yourself really bad. Mm. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> oh, I cut it in half. <laughs> so I think what I've just learned was a valuable lesson. I'm going to let the pro do the cleaning. <laughs> This man, look how good that looks. That looks insanely good. You know what's crazy, Kelly? Is this our scallops are way smaller. The shell would probably be about that big, and the meat's the same size. Learn something new every day. We're gonna get to cleaning all these scallops. Look, another langusta. So they must like when they're teeny little babies, they get in here and they raise up in these shells. Shelter. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, shelter exactly from predators. We're gonna clean all these. We'll see y'all back at camp. You fall out, you get run over. <laughs> Dude, check out this cliff that we're on. Mom and dad, y'all are coming back here with us and we're bringing Luke and Jake and we're doing this again. Tranquilo, Pacho. Take it easy, man. Hang on, Kelly. You good? guys life doesn't get better than it is right now I don't care about money I don't care about anything other than just living life to the fullest and that's what we're doing the seals these are the craziest little things ever there you go. I want to take one home they're so cute Luke would be like I want one <laughs> oh oh You guys check out my spearfishing video and look at all the seals that we were swimming with. Probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I am starving though. In this ceviche, I've already got ideas. I just stopped on the beach and found this giant clam shell. That's what I'm serving it in. We got it right off the beach. I don't know who harvested it. Maybe a seal did, I don't know, but we're eating out of it. So Pacho's family and all their relatives live here on the island. This is their little store. A little, you can get some Cokes, you know, some cookies. Look at their little boy. Where are you going? Hi. Oh, you closed? He said, we're closed for business. Blue Gobby's here. He said, get the heck out of here. Before I brought the camera out, he was having a blast jumping on that trampoline. You guys, this is living life at the fullest. I haven't had a Coke in like two days. Thankfully they had one. I just bought three and a pack of cookies and I'm eating my breakfast from this morning. All right, so we just got back to our awesome little cottage that we're staying in. Some of you have already seen it, some of you haven't. We're right here on the beach of Mag Bay and the sunrises are insane. Look at this, what you got there, Miss Cal? Scallops. Did you want to keep this red thing for... Yeah, that's a clam. That's a big clam. That clam came out of the shell that we're going to eat this in. So we have a personal chef here 
Adelina is her name, something like that. You guys, you gotta forgive me with names. We've heard so many on this trip. So I just go with ma'am or sir. She's gonna make an awesome ceviche and I'm gonna get in her and film her. Kelly's gonna get out of her wetsuit. But as soon as this is done, we're picking up and going again. All right, so right now she's chopping up the scallops. She's chopped up some cucumber, some red onions, tomato, and lime. It's gonna be that simple and that good. It's gonna taste just like that ocean with a little bit of seasoning. God, I can't wait. You know what the best part is? Mm. When Robert and them get back from their adventure, they're gonna get to enjoy it too. A pacho. <laughs> oh, you want? You pick one. One pick. Oh, okay. No, you look like a woman like that. <laughs> no, a woman. You like it? Yes. You like it? Yes. You sure? You like, like it? it? Yes. You look like Britis Mas Grande. Aubrey. Si. Si. <laughs> you like it. Si, it's, it's yours. Okay. okay, thank you. I like how he put his cross back on. <laughs> These guys don't play around when it comes in believing in the Lord. Because trust me, when you're out there in that ocean like they go, you better have the Lord on your side because luck ain't. So here goes nothing. These awesome, beautiful shells I found. Like these shells were meant to be. I love them. We're bringing them back home. We're going to make a tuna poke out of them. Next time we go to Venice, it's fine. This smells so good. Onions, a little bit of garlic powder that she put in there. Tomatoes. Lemon. All right, I'm gonna let the ladies try it. All right, so we're all wrapped up. We came out here to the seashore. This was where we first pulled up the first day we got here and Kelly and I and my brother knew we were in heaven. It just doesn't get any better. This is our chef. She's been cooking almost all of Robert's food. She is insanely good. So I'm gonna let her and Kelly try it. It's bueno. Really good. Just nice, clean, simple ingredients. Healthy. What'd you say walking down here? What did I say? You needed some healthy food in your life? I did. I've been eating, I mean, I've been eating some good food, but for me, I'm like, I need less carbs. So this is perfect. You have protein with the scallops, vegetables. It's, this is a perfect meal after diving. Gracias. Thank you very much for making that. So the yachts you see in the background are from Vancouver, Canada, and they're all the way down here in Mag Bay. I don't even know how many thousands of miles that is, but it's a lot. And they're going to join us for dinner tonight when we cook the octopus up at the restaurant. And the hawkfish, the whole hawkfish. Oh yeah, we're doing that too. You guys, this is just a little bit of our adventure and we still got more to go and we've been a long ways to get here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my family. Thanks for supporting Kelly Young's channel, my brother Deer Meat for dinner. Thanks for being you guys. Without you guys, we'd be nothing. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See ya.